Microsoft says that its artificial intelligence, which is actually incredibly scarily smart, has developed a substitute for lithium. It says, actually, lithium isn't even needed in batteries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Modern lithium ion rechargeable batteries rely on lithium and other rare earth metals, or they rely on sodium. BYD has just begun building a sodium battery factory that will build 30 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. Stellantis, one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world, will also build a sodium ion battery factory. But, I mean, that technology is still relatively in its infancy. And there are some problems with sodium ion batteries, which I've talked about in other videos, including energy density that is relatively low. However, Microsoft have collaborated with the Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory to discover a novel material that could, well, alleviate the global dependence on lithium in the production of rechargeable batteries. Leveraging its artificial intelligence and the Azure Quantum Elements cloud platform. The Microsoft team significantly sped up, as in turbocharged, the time-consuming research on materials not found in nature. This is one of the things I've reported on the channel on numerous occasions over the past 12 months. Scientists, engineers, uh, they're beginning to use artificial intelligence to discover materials that would have taken us centuries otherwise to have found. With Redmond's high-performance computing HPC systems, the AI algorithms were able to predict the characteristics of new materials such as energy, force, stress, electronic band gap, and mechanical properties. Microsoft and PNNL trained the AI models using millions of data points from simulations, resulting in a 1,500 times faster prediction of materials properties compared to traditional density functional theory calculations. Sounds complicated, but actually it's sort of relatively simple. The selection process began with 32.6 million candidate materials. Imagine how long it would take individual scientists to go through that number of materials, 32.6 million. And AI algorithms identified 500,000 predicted that were stable from that number. After screening for functional properties, the pool was further narrowed down to 800 potential candidates, utilizing insanely AI accelerated simulations to explore dynamic properties like tonic diffusivity. The Microsoft Quantum team narrowed down the selection to only 150 materials. Now, even 150 is still a hell of a lot, but it's a lot less than 35 million. With the synergy of AI, the Azure Quantum Elements platform and established scientific expertise, Microsoft says that modern technology can condense the next 250 years of chemistry and material science innovation into the next 25. Practical considerations including novelty, mechanics, and the availability of those elements were then factored in to identify a group of a top 18 candidates. So 18, so those 35 million were withered down all the way to only 18. Leveraging PNNL's expertise and insights for additional screening parameters, Microsoft researchers pinpointed the final candidate, an electrolyte material that uses approximately 70% less lithium than existing lithium ion batteries. So it doesn't actually eliminate lithium altogether, but 70% less could mean it'll be very, very affordable. It substitutes some of the lithium with sodium. So it's what I've been talking about on the channel now for quite a while, a hybrid sodium lithium battery. And I believe that actually there's already a company in China attempting to build a hybrid lithium sodium battery pack. And they have prototypes already that they've revealed. The new material has been synthesized though by PNNL that they add to the hybrid sodium lithium mixture. And additional tests are planned to verify its stability and efficiency. 
Brian Abrahamson, Chief Digital Officer at PNN, PNNL, said developing novel batteries is a crucial global challenge. Abrahamson stated that synthesizing and testing materials at a human scale is a labor intensive and fundamentally limiting process. And of course, it takes decades to do that. That's why we still use lithium today. With the synergy of AI, the Azure Quantum Elements platform, and established scientific expertise, Microsoft says that modern technology can condense the next 250 years of chemistry down to 25 years. They say that this artificial intelligence manufactured battery will revolutionize every single industry, unlocking a new era of scientific discovery. But what I believe would happen as a result is sodium is much, much cheaper than lithium. So a hybrid sodium lithium battery would significantly cut the costs. There's other things to consider as well. Sodium is more stable. It's less likely to have a fire. It doesn't need the same kind of um, battery management, same sort of cooling. It's not needed. It's cheap. It's not needed to have so much lithium, which is much more expensive. And also it has some other benefits. It can handle very cold temperatures quite well. So there's benefits to both lithium and sodium, but by combining the two together, plus adding this new novel material that the team of Microsoft say that they've found that actually unlocks a better, cheaper battery pack. Well, it's possible that this battery could in fact revolutionize the world. Will it happen in the next few years? No, of course not. We're a long way from that. But you can see how artificial intelligence will bring down the cost of cars. Now, Tony Sieber said that by 2030, we would see electric cars costing $5,000. That may or may not be right. I don't know. But artificial intelligence will certainly play a part in reducing the cost of absolutely everything, whether that's your computer, your house, or your electric car. Everything will become cheaper and better at a very, very rapid pace. Thanks for watching.